Hey everybody, Chantel with Gov Success. This video is going to walk you through how we're going to search for contract data in the betasam.gov website. Um, at the main screen, if you have an account, go ahead and sign in. If not, and you want to create one, again, sign in, <laughs> and then you'll have the option to create your account. But you do not need an account in order for you to search this data. So it's a public website. By all means, just search it. Uh, at the top of the bar, all war data, just click down and select contract data. At this point, you do not need to put anything in the search bar unless you want to. I typically do not. And I click the search button. Once you get to the search results, you're going to have limited items that you can do to search the contract data at this time. However, one key thing I want to ask you to do is to make sure you have active only on there. And the preferred sort by is by date modified. Why? Because the only other option for you to sort by is title. And when it comes to contracts, it's going to sort by the modification number as well. So you're going to have a bunch of zeros. So that's not really going to help you. Plus, if you look at this one, this is from 2001. Keep in mind, this is a large database. So it's going to have historical data, which is great for you for research purposes. However, when searching for quick, easy things, it's not going to work really well in the title search. So do date modified. And now the options that you have available to you to search are keywords, the modified date, the organization. So the federal organization is going to be the agency, Department of Defense, Department of the Army, Department of Labor, Veterans Affairs. The contract type can be either a contract or an interagency contract directory, an ICD. Um, you could also search by a word IDV type. So it could be a BOA, which is a blanket ordering agreement. It could be a delivery order, which is usually awarded underneath a BOA or an IDIQ or a BPA. Any other type of item. I just usually do all, so it doesn't have a specific item. Um, if you want and you know it, you can search by a DUNS number. Another item that we can search by is the NICS code, the PCS code, and the set aside. The NICS code is your uh, your company classification, what you do. So you could be janitorial services, you could be a mining company, construction company, maybe you're in energy, who knows. But regardless of what it is, if you already know it, you could type your six-digit code in here. There's also ability for you to do smaller codes, for example, all of agricultural's and the 11 series. You can do all utilities if that's where you're at. You can also do the four-digit code. So maybe um, you're in services to buildings and dwellings, which includes extermination and pest control, janitorial services, landscaping, flooring, uh, and, and some other services for buildings and dwellings. So if that's the case, you would use that code. Uh, but you can get as far down as you want, niche down maybe, basically, if you want to do that. Um, same thing with the PCS code. If you don't know, you can search janitorial and it'll come up with some options for you. And maybe you're set aside. Maybe you're a small business, right? So maybe you're a woman-owned small business. And as you can see, each time I select something, this list recycles. And that's because it's updating it to current um, filters that you are selecting. You can also search by performance location, but it needs to be the zip code. So you can do performance location by zip code or the entity location. And when you're talking about entity, it's going to be the entity name here. So the Jones Lang, you can put the zip code. So maybe you have a business that has multiple locations. You can narrow it down to the zip codes for that entity. So there you have it. Really quick search of Beta Sam just for contract data.